Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Dwarfcraft. All right, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Come on, it's 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 a thing, right? It's become a thing. Right, right. Yeah. Let's uh, just for the the lulls here. Let's uh, get back into, get into the recording chair. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. Um, no, but I'm I'm. So you want to start start blood magic? Absolutely. I'm completely cool with that. I want to start blood magic too. I st I still want to start it here, and I'd like to at least start it in the area that we want to keep it in. Even if we don't keep it set up the same way in that area, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, like, I'm kind of looking through here and trying to see what I would like to build it out of. And I think that the idea of having this sort of... Um, this sort of semi-corrupted tower would work really nicely. But the question there is, do we want it to be more like, like an iron mechanical tower that's become rusted and old and broken? Or do we want it more like a and organic growths of crystal. Um, use something with, like, Tyrion or whatever, or what? So if you're talking about uh, blood magic, mm -hmm. I definitely want it to look magey. So non-mechanical, if possible. De and it's like a wicked kind of blood magic. I want it to be dark and gloomy and angry-looking. Okay. Something that could be kind of cool could be using uh, chiseled nether bricks, because there's, like, the dark lava bricks, or, like, meat blocks that they have for nether brick in chisel. Um, meat blocks? Mm-hmm. Meat bricks. Nether uh, bricks made of meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that could be cool. I was thinking more along the lines of uh, that black or the gray lot the stone lava brick you know mm -hmm. the dark lava brick or the stone lava brick yeah that would be kind of cool because i want it to be dark i want it to be uh i don't know i guess i can't really explain it nether wings <laughs> chicken blaze powder and hot sauce huh <laughs> nine food Well, that's nether brick. Do we have nether brick? I don't think that we have... Do you have nether... Yeah, you have nether oh, essence, we have, right? We have nether essence going, yeah. That's um, a star. I think we have nether essence... Because you said it was clogging something here. Yeah, I, I, I fixed everything in the back. If, if you want to come to the back here, you'll see. Yeah. No, I, I get you. I get you. But where where is it uh, being stored, then? It's not being stored as a thing. Oh. It's being used. Oh? Yeah. So I'm using it what? to craft our power. Oh, are you turning it into uh, bones or something? I'm turning it into wither skulls. Oh, because those get good uh, death generator stuff? Yeah, yeah. Huh. How is this at zero? What? How are these at zero? What? <laughs> Wouldn't just uh, the wither the wither skeleton essence do that? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, it doesn't turn wither it ter doesn't turn into wither skulls if that's what you're asking. Really? This is jam. No, you need a bunch of stuff. Oh, oh. Oops. You need in order to make a wither skull, you need a skull plate, uh, and the skull plate oh, is what it. costs everything. So you need the blank skull, that's what it's called, and that takes soul dust and bone blocks. And the soul dust takes soul stone, and the soul stone takes soul sand and chiseled stone. Oof. And the, yeah, or, or regular stone, rather. So but why the not just use sand, that silly skeleton essence that you had and make bones? I could do that, too, I guess. <laughs> it just but seems the, like a single-step process might be... A single step process with maybe a little bit higher quantity would be more efficient than like a ten stage process. Like yeah. I don't know which I don't know like what is it, uh 
death generator. Yeah, if you if you come over here, I have it in the back, and you can check all the things that it uses. So bone gives sixteen thousand RF. Or you can over do that. twenty set or twenty seconds, forty RF per tick. Uh, bone blocks forty eight thousand, which you can get one bone block from three bone meal. Right. And it is. Is that three times? Yeah, that's three times. Uh, whereas a wither skeleton is only is sixty thousand over twenty seconds at one hundred and fifty RF per tick. So a wither skull right. is higher uh, speed. But so the thing with it is like essentially the wither three bone would give you like almost the equivalent. Yeah, I guess. With the two-step process, it's, it's tough to say. Yeah, I guess. But yeah, I guess I'll just use bones because right now we're not using a ton of it, and when we get a surplus of it, then I can care more. Yeah, and we but... can always supplement it with a uh, with skeleton farm bones. Mhm. Mm That's what I'm gonna do. I think. Uh, okay. I also think I want to push this whole farm back one or two blocks, like all the farms. You know, I want to yeah. push the whole wall back. Yeah. Just for decoration sake. Anyways, make the we're doing blood magic. Good. Yeah, are we? I don't know. <laughs> You're the one that started uh, talking about your farms again. Yeah, 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 my fault. <laughs> um, let's go back to the other base, because that's where all of our blood magic that we have ready is. Well, do we need that to start new blood magic? No, but I did it specifically so we could expedite blood magic. Okay. Um. Oh, we could maybe. We don't have quite enough of those yet. Uh, anyways. Quite enough of what? Um. The uh, archaic bricks, and the embers bricks. Oh yeah, Those no. are a nice dark. Dark. I want to know how to farm them. That's that's what I care about. Oh, using an alchemical recipe. Or an uh, exchange tablet. You can use... What is this, though? I don't know what that is. Four to eight. Dang. If only I knew what half this crap was. I still want to do that. But anyway, let's go back to the other base, and you'll see what I'm... I already showed you what I was talking about, that stuff in that yeah. chest. It, it would just be easier if we grabbed all that stuff. We can make yeah. a bunch of stuff real quick. A.K.A. AKA the stone tablets. Yeah. That's Why literally are we it. Going out there at night with no protection. Mobs are just gonna be in the way. I have lots of protection. I got fancy. Yeah, I've got plenty of protection too, but they're just gonna get in the way. Hey look, I got an iron ingot out of it. Oh, yeah, because we needed that with the 16,000 back at base. <laughs> yeah, but this is a special iron ingot. Why? <laughs> because it, uh, it came out of, it came out of me hunting. It's that special. It's like a trophy ingot. Look, bones. We can use those in a death generator. The, you mean instead of the 20,000 bones we have here? There's, like, there's, there's useful stuff. There's useful stuff that we already have so many of, though. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take this out. Can you just give me my deal here? Yeah, he showed me this the other day. Um, he basically was like, Hey, I've been doing blood magic farming. And I was like, Cool. I wanna do my own blood magic too. And he was like, Yeah, cool, I've been farming it. And I'm like, Yeah, okay, can we start my own? And he was like, Yeah, okay. look, I've been farming it. Okay, hang on. Hang on. You don't quite understand because you obviously don't do much blood magic. I literally am saving us hours of work. I'm going to explain everything that I did, and once we get to the point, you'll be like, oh, I see why you did this now. I, I know. So just, okay, you seem, to be, uh, you seem to be laboring under the impression that I have zero idea what blood magic is. I have done a bunch of blood magic. I just generally don't do it as a focus. I know the basics of it. I know the more advanced stuff about it. I just don't do it. So I understand entirely how much time you've saved us. So why are you complaining about it? I'm not. I'm just saying <laughs> let's do something with it instead of you just being like, look, I have a farm. 
Well, no, I only had the farm to expedite the process. <laughs> so that we, we He's didn't like, have to you want to record it. blood magic? I'm like, sure. He's like, yeah, check out what I've done at this other at, at, at the other base. And I'm like, cool. I literally so just picked it So do you want to start recording blood magic? Yeah, base. look at what I've done at the other base. I'm like, cool. You're, you're clearly not understanding, but it's fine. <laughs> let's just Let's just get on with it. So the first thing that we need to do, I'm going to explain this as though our viewers have never done this. So just be ready for mundaneness. Mundanity, so the thing, oh no. The first thing you need to do with blood magic is get something called, uh, crap. A snare, that's it. <laughs> I, forgot what it was, shut up, I forgot what it was called. You need a snare. So in order to make a snare, you need iron string and redstone. Hey, look, iron. I got that from a mob. Four iron. You got. You need four iron. Iron string, redstone. I'll just do this. And boom, snares. You need to make a bunch of them. These are rudimentary snares. So you throw it at a hostile mob, which I use my skeleton farm. Here, you Actually, can have that... some of these. Just having a, a farm makes things very easy. And for those watching me, this is a rudimentary snare. You do get four of them out of this. Why do you want me? Because I wanted you to pick up what I I wanted you to pick up what I threw at you, and you weren't <laughs> close enough. And I didn't want to pick it back up. Hey, look, snares. So, so after you, if you look in this chest, you, know, you know what we could have done with these snares? We could have gone out during the night time and thrown them at mobs. Or we could just go to the farm. So the after nighttime. you use a snare on a mob, it drops one of these demonic wills. Just as an item on the ground. Uh, you have to use the snare on them until they glow white particles. Yeah, then there's they drop a little this demonic effect will. that they, that they flow, throw off. The demonic will have a will quality. If you look, if you hover your mouse over the demonic will in your inventory, you'll see it has a will quality. You can't see my real life hand, but I'm doing a Vanna White impression. Okay. <laughs> so... These are used as fuel in a Hellfire Forge, which we can actually take with us, because... Fuel? Yeah. They're used as fuel and catalyst, in a kind of a weird yeah. way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because but... it's not only enough to have demonic will in there, you have to have high enough demonic, demonic will, will, yeah. Which you so have like... to have enough quality to even start it. Right. So if you look at this one, this is a higher tartaric gem. So the, or a lesser tartaric gem, I'm sorry. Those are essentially this... a crystallized uh, storage container of demonic will. Right. So if I hit recipe on this, you'll see it says Hellfire Forge, and it takes a petty tartaric gem, which is in the Hellfire Forge. And if you ho hover your mouse over the arrow, it tells you the minimum amount of will that you need and the actual will that it takes. I did not so know you need... about that. So my will quantity on my demonic will that I have is 1.49. So I have at least one, and it will take that one away as the fuel, quote unquote, uh, huge air quotes there. So and those, oh no, hang on. This, these four slots right here in the Hellfire Forge, if I put it down, equate to these four slots. And you can look in here too if you want. The will goes on the right hand side, and, the and then whatever, the, the output's in the middle, yeah. And this uh, bar on the side, it says show recipes when you hover over it, that starts to go up like a furnace when it's about to crack. So, that's basically everything you need to know about the Hellfire Forge, because literally everything basic is like a crafted in the Hellfire Forge. That's the basic uh, crafting table for... Hello everybody. Um, I know it's been a long time, uh, but I have a sort of good reason for that. Uh, basically, what ended up happening, well, sort of good reason. The reason it's been a long time is because of just life and things in general happening. One of the reasons for no Dwarfcraft, however, is specifically... I guess that's not even the right... 
Okay, let me start over. Um, hello everyone. You may be wondering why that previous clip of me and uh, Clutch exploring the end cut off without any real conclusion. And the reason for that is simple. I got confused on what buttons I was pressing. And therefore, cancelled my recording without realizing it. So, yeah. That's what happened there. Um, so basically, I'm just recording this little bit in order to help... What's, what's a good word? Just alleviate? Um, transition? To help transition things better? Yeah, since we last been on, there's been a couple things. You'll, you'll notice this big astral sorcery tower. Um, I've just kind of started some of the very basic stuff of astral sorcery, making the little starlight table little collection basin, that sort of thing. A little bit of liquid starlight. Um, it's kind of frightening inside because lots and lots of bad guys. But eventually, we will utilize the inside of that for devices and equipment and stuff. Uh, similarly, this tower has a mob farm underneath it now. And a hole right there. Yeah, so... It's got a mixture of cursed earth and graveyard soil. Uh, we were experimenting to see if the graveyard soil would heal undead mobs quick enough that the Well of Suffering would not be able to kill them. Similar to how you can use witches in order to... Um kind of have infinite life essence from one of those things. And also, in the meantime, one other thing that I've been doing Oh, that went right over his head. One other thing that I have been doing I will show you in a mere moment. I do need redstone on this. It's over here. Check it. Yep, yep, right there. Right there. A big old wall. A wonderful, glorious, gigantic wall. Still not even up to the height of the central tower areas. But it's here, and it's great. Oh, hello, cow. No. That could have been bad. And not just that section, but I have been working on another section as well over here. Now eventually, I am hoping that these wall sections will tie in with some towers in these crags, and the crags themselves, and circumnavigate the entire central uh, keep. Central Mountain Keep. Um, something else that I've been doing? Basically, I've just been busy building things. Aside from getting into Astral Sorcery a little bit, it's just been lots and lots of building.
I need to get a better Ow. melee weapon. But yeah, you've seen this, of course. Uh, my main entrance. Or, not the main entrance, but the side entrance. The, uh... What would it be? The south entrance, apparently. Yeah. But, I've actually dug in here a little bit, and started making a, uh, kind of an antechamber. With, on this side, a bit of tunnel starting to go off to the side. I don't know if I've shown you all of this... But yeah, this is going to maybe be, this is going to be the armory we are planning, hopefully, eventually. I'm just going to be full of weapons and stuff. Um, experimenting a little bit with some of the magma blocks. I'm not sure how much I like them. <clears throat> and then I have this little little tinkers area I've been using as well as this little room. These are kind of temporary rooms. This is a monster jerky maker. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay. Uh, as I get potatoes, I make batter, and I have garlic and onions, and it makes monster dumplings. Monster dumplings are amazing. Not like actually amazing, I just think they're hilarious. I'm one of those guys that will eat uh, the rotten monster flesh all the time if it's available so it's good to have a way of making it not like terrible as a food source but yeah that's that's what we've been up to um or at least what i've been up to <clears throat> clutch has been doing stuff i'm still not entirely sure what he's been Spending so much time on down in the basement because it looks the same, just about the same down there as it, before, as it did before to me. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. But, I mean, he says he's doing something, so I'll believe him. Yeah, this, this still has holes in it everywhere and. These still look about the same, and I don't know what he's doing there. I guess those are growth things. I managed to convince him to actually... Wait, this isn't? Okay. <clears throat> I convinced him to actually have stone essence being produced. So that's nice. You know, not have, like, just one plant at a time, but actually have a significant farm going. Did he switch this back? No, it's just not gone, because I guess we've not been on. I don't know how these work, necessarily. But yeah, so like, this doesn't... I don't know what he's doing. And then of course, I've been working on making everything pretty. Which includes working on the actual dome, or barreled vault ceiling of this room, which is going to be amazing once we actually have the coal to finish it. Which, it looks like we have a bunch of coal, which is good. Very, very good. Iron, we have bones, we have coal, we have a bunch of stone essence. There is some weird stuff going on with the uh, stone essence, mostly because I ended up using it, it all up via this little super furnace to make actual just like regular stone. Why is it? Okay, I guess this is coal now. And... What? Yeah, this is the problem. 
this whole thing is just a little bit silly. Let's turn you on. Start getting some of that, getting this filled up. Yeah, we need to get this underside figured out. I'd like to... The embers pipes are actually a lot nicer than uh, these transfer pipes for this sort of single object uh, maneuvering. And bulk maneuvering, because you can just see how much more speed there is. I'd kind of like to be able to use the switchability of these to maybe make... And the, uh, the auto crafters to maybe make... Like, I don't know, some sort of big auto crafting, like, switchboard system thing. What in the world? Where did. What? I'm so confused. Anyways. Yeah, stone essence is here. This was cobble. It's not cobble anymore, though. Why? What? I should be able to edit that. Anyways. But yeah, so that's what I've been up to. Um, so yeah. I'll see you next time on Dwarfcraft. Hopefully it'll actually occur more frequently. Yeah.